Japanese leaders have approved a 10-year business plan for the operator of the damaged nuclear plant in Fukushima. Executives at Tokyo Electric Power Company are facing a costly decommissioning process at the facility, and they're counting on restarting reactors elsewhere to boost revenue. Industry Minister Toshimitsu Motegi officially told TEPCO President Naomi Hirose of the business plan's approval. The government has controlled the company since 2012. TEPCO officials want to restart reactors at their Kashiwazaki Kariwa plant in Niigata Prefecture as early as July. They also plan to rebuild aging thermal power plants and find cheaper imported fuel for thermal power generation. They're forecasting an annual profit of more than $950 million that would allow them to gradually lower electricity rates. TEPCO is looking at creating a new division to deal with the growing problem of contaminated water at Fukushima Daiichi and to dismantle reactors. It has set aside $19 billion for the work. TEPCO should show the people and assure them that the company is changing and it will keep on changing. You should do this through your efforts and action. The government has increased the limit of its interest-free loans to TEPCO to $86 billion. The utility is using the money for decontamination efforts and to compensate evacuees. Company officials plan to streamline management and close local offices to cut costs by $46 billion. They want to make TEPCO competitive. TEPCO executives need to obtain consent from municipalities if they want to fire up their nuclear reactors. The governor of Niigata Prefecture criticized the utilities business plan. Hirohiko Izumida says it seems like the plan will be impossible to implement. TEPCO hasn't learned from the Fukushima accident. It's not qualified to operate nuclear plants. Izumida says he plans to meet the president of TEPCO on Thursday to urge him to fully analyze what happened at Fukushima Daiichi. An affiliate of TEPCO has applied for safety screening of an intermediate nuclear waste dump ahead of its planned start of operations next year. The recyclable fuel storage company has asked the Nuclear Regulation Authority for official screening of its facility. The company is 80 percent owned by TEPCO. The firm has been building the facility in the city of Mutsu in the northern prefecture of Aomori. It plans to store a total of 3,000 tons of nuclear waste from TEPCO and other operators for up to 50 years. Company officials say the facility proved safe when tested to new standards. The inspection involved earth tremors 30 percent stronger than initial simulations. The company hopes to start operating the facility in March next year. We've taken proactive measures looking far ahead. We want the nuclear regulator to conclude this facility is safe. One drawback is the facility's size. Its 3,000 ton capacity accounts for only a small portion of the 17,000 tons of waste that's being kept at nuclear plants across Japan. At many locations, storage pools holding spent fuel rods are nearly full. The accumulation of waste is being blamed on the trouble-plagued spent fuel reprocessing, uh, reprocessing plant in Rokasho village, also in Aomori. There seems to be no prospect of the plant ever functioning properly. Questions remain over what to do with Japan's nuclear waste. There are no plans at present to build more storage facilities. Renewable energy in Germany last year accounted for a record 23 percent of total electric power generation. Germany has been moving away from nuclear power since the Fukushima Daiichi plant disaster in March 2011. The country's Association of Energy and Water Industries on Tuesday published preliminary figures for domestic power generation for 2013. The report says the use of renewable energy sources increased by 0.6 percentage points to 23.4%. Among renewable energy sources, wind power accounted for 7.9 percent, biomass contributed 6.8 percent, and solar 4.5 percent. Germany aims to put an end to nuclear power by, 2020, uh, by 2020. Excuse me, that's 2022. The ratio of nuclear power was 15.4 percent last year, down by 0.4 percentage points from 2012. The country plans to increase the use of renewable energy sources to 80 percent by the year 2050. 
It introduced a system in which power utilities purchase electricity from renewable energy sources at higher prices. The increasing costs are added on to household electricity charges.